Hello, Ranch Daddy here. Today we dine on the dreams of 12 year olds. Zoodles and toast. Oh, crazy. That is a hot, hot lasagna right there. And to the hot, hot lasagna, we make it actually a little more like lasagna. Now this is gourmet, and when you're 12 years old, you wouldn't be getting all this extra goodness. You would, you would get one semi-warm can, you know? This is adult-style zoodles, okay? Welcome to my freak show. So while that's doing its dang dang, very carefully we move it away. And we bring in our toast because we do need some adult toast for this as well. A nice rye. And while we're being a bougie bitch about it, yes, I am paintbrush buttering this toast. Pretty genius, I know. You can thank me later. I mainly did this because my butter was in the fridge and I had no other way to do it. Uh, other than being a complete Elon Musk about it and melting it down in the pan and just brushing it on with this brush. And I feel genius level, to be honest. I may never butter my toast the regular way ever again. We bring back the hot, hot lasagna. All right, welcome to this hot, hot lasagna, <laughs> AKA children's pasta with mozzarella cheese and adult buttered toast. Now, we do need to be careful throwing around the words ranch daddy and dining on the dreams of 12 year olds because in today's climate, it's risky out there. So what I mean is we're having, we're dining on a juvenile meal that 12 year olds would most likely dream about. Okay. I certainly did back when I was 12. This was one of my favorites. This is a little more bougie though. Um, and, uh, I'm excited to get into it. So before we do anything more, we must Papa, pour. And we have a nice ice cup ready. We are continuing the trend of the Dr. Pepper. Excited for that. Also a, uh, a young chaps dream beverage. I was definitely sucking back many Dr. Peppers when I was a kid. I wasn't really, you know, one of these Kool-Aid kids. A kid I definitely was though was Capri Sun. Shout out Capri Sun. Tell me if in the comments if you were a Capri Sun user. <laughs> user, like it's heroin. It was heroin though. It's especially the way that you injected that straw into Capri Suns. You can't tell me that injecting the straw into that pouch that seemed kind of impenetrable didn't seem like you were taking a needle and like get like going vein deep. You know what I mean? So I will say that Capri Sun were, were dope. Here and there, I would mess around with a Kool-Aid jammer, but back when they were in the bottles where you, the plastic, you take the top off and it almost spills on you because it's like so full up. But uh, I legit was craving this. Is this a hilarious crave to have as a as a grown man child? I think it's awesome, personally. How can you go wrong? It's just like trashy, awesome trashiness. Cheesy tomato pasta on the best toast. This is my favorite toast, by the way. I'm such a fan of rye, rye bread. This one in specific is nice and I like it thin. 
and you toast it out real good and it becomes just like a cracker, a buttery cracker. Come on. Why is that actually so good? But yeah, cracker. That's how I roll with my rye. Mm-hmm. Gotta be good and buttery too. Don't hold back. Melt it in a pan and brush it on. <laughs> you guys know. I don't care if you're a food snob or not. You know you're craving that right now. This was three cans. My 12 year old self would normally eat one. I highly doubt I'm gonna get through this. But I legit was chilling. Actually, I've been up like all night. I haven't slept. I'm trying to correct my sleep schedule. And it was like early in the morning. I'm talking 6 a.m. And I was like, I need to make a video midday to put it up and then go to bed in like the evening tonight. I'm like, what do I want to make? And legit, this exact meal was just like so high on my graves. So I drove to a 24 hour shopper's drug mart at 6 a.m. to procure four cans of Zoodles. And on that note, let me ask you all a question. They had Alpha Getty as well. I pretty much would say that like they're technically the exact same thing, but my whole life I have always found that Zoodles taste better than Alpha Getty. I don't know if it's a different recipe or if the shapes matter, the pasta shapes. But I always will stick by that Zoodles taste better than Alpha Giddy. Let me know. I don't blow. There's got to be passionate people out there. About this debate. I want to see childish past of warfare, okay? I also want to know you as a possible adult watching this video what's one of your like go-to like kid foods from your childhood that you 
seemingly can't escape. I would love to know that down below. This clearly is one of mine. I feel like definitely Pogo's Pizza Pops. Mm. Anything like that, pizza rolls, bagel bites. Never grew out of them. The spoon is so <laughs> just coated in cheese. It's gonna be so hard to get get clean. father ranch daddy whatever you want to call me and I'm gonna take it there I know it seems crazy I know it seems disgusting but if you really think about it if we put ranch on pizza this is really just the same thing welcome back to my neighborhood the window open so I can uh, get a little breeze while I'm eating this super hot shit but we're taking it to ranch town <laughs> is this disgusting is it disgusting could be I think it's gonna be personally delicious Didn't go as well as I planned. Not terrible. But not exactly complimentary. Probably just stick to the OG. Somebody in my comments yesterday wrote a genius idea. They said, <clears throat> you should get like 10 bottles of different ranch and have a ranch shootout. I can get behind that. My only issue is trying to find 10 bottles of different ranch. I feel like I'm going to have to enlist the... Uh, aid of Amazon for that potentially. So like grocery stores here carry like five brands. Hidden Valley, Kraft, uh, Keg, Newman's. No, they don't have ranch. I don't think so. Aren't Newman's own? No. I don't know. There's not many where I'm at. I 
And from what I've found where I'm at, Hidden Valley is the best. I think there's one called like maybe Marzetti as well. I believe. But to be honest with you guys, Canada's uh, product game is pretty weak. We always just have limited selection. But yeah, our product situation is usually pretty whack. I need to get a peel box for y'all to send me American shit to try. Especially now since these borders are just staying closed. Cause I live an hour away from Minnesota. which I usually go to in the summertime, but got robbed of that this year. Extremely weak. I love driving to New America. It's just so crazy. Like you just get in there and immediately it just feels different. Everything feels different. Okay. One more bite of this and then I got a tap out. I'm hot and bothered. Did I get the the red sauce smile. Usually get joker cheeks from this. <laughs> At least from my experience as a kid. Yeah, let me know now down below those things that I asked. Until the next juvenile one, maybe. Who knows, maybe I'll do some pogos. <laughs> Just because I love pogos. But uh, yeah, until the next one. Eat good, live well. Stay true.